In this video, we're going to discuss the parts of the atom. To begin, we're gonna look at the protons. Protons are positive, and they're found in the nucleus. So where's the nucleus? It's in the center of the atom. So right in the middle, we have our nucleus, and that's where we find our protons. So how do we determine the number of protons we have in the nucleus? Well, you need to look at the periodic table. And when you look at the periodic table, you look at each box. So here's the box for boron. And you look at the smaller of the two numbers. So up here, you would know you have five protons for boron, six for carbon, seven for nitrogen, eight for oxygen, and nine for fluorine. We're gonna look at the element sodium. Sodium would have 11 protons, so 11 circles in the middle. Next, we're gonna look at the number of neutrons. Neutrons are also found in the center of the atom in the nucleus. So how do we determine the number of neutrons in an atom? Well, we have to take the larger of the two numbers and round it. So 10.811 would round up to 11, and then you subtract it from the number of protons. So 11 minus five is six. So boron would have six neutrons. Carbon, you do 12 minus six, carbon would have six neutrons. And let's jump over here to fluorine. Fluorine, round this up to 19. 19 minus nine would be 10, so you'd have 10 neutrons. So let's look at our sodium here. Sodium, this rounds up to 23. 23 minus 11 is 12. So sodium would have 12 neutrons in the middle. Next, we have to look at our energy levels. Energy levels are the circles around the nucleus. So the nucleus is where you find the protons and the neutrons. The energy levels are on the outside. You may also hear these called electron shells, but for our purpose, we're gonna call them energy levels. How do we determine the number of energy levels? Well, you need to look at the periodic table and look at the periods. And periods are just a fancy word for rows. So here's row one, row two, three, four, five, six. Keep in mind that these guys actually kind of budge in right here. To condense down the periodic table, these get put down here. And then row seven, same thing, these actually go up here. We call our rows periods in chemistry, but they also represent the number of energy levels or electron shells. Energy levels and electron shells are just the circles around the nucleus. So, for example, hydrogen and helium will only have one energy level or one circle around its nucleus. Lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and neon will have two circles around it. And there's sodium in the third row here, so it has one, two, three circles around it. The next thing we need to talk about are the electrons. Electrons equal the number of protons in a neutral atom. The reason for this is because electrons have a minus one charge. Protons have a plus one charge. So if you have equal amounts, they're gonna equal zero. So plus one plus minus one equals zero. So here sodium has 11 protons, which means it's gonna have 11 electrons. And these electrons go on these energy levels. Well, how do we determine how many electrons go on each energy level? Well, this first energy level can fit up to two electrons. So let's add one, two. The second energy level can have up to eight electrons. So let's add our third electron, then our fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. We're up to 10 electrons. Well, we have one more, so we're gonna plop it on the third energy level. So here is a neutral atom for sodium.